Hello everyone. Hmm. Everywhere don't scatter for Southeast. Igbo leaders are now running up and down. As Simon Ekba give them two weeks grace according to him. He give them two weeks grace to pacify Nigerian government led by, led by President Bola Metinubu to get Mazen Nambikanu released or else they should consider themselves homeless in the Southeast region. Their homes and their investments, everything will be gone. He said this is not a threat, it's a promise. You have two weeks grace to release Mazen Namdekano, pacify your terrorist government to get Namdekano free. We know the court can never give him justice. But if you fail to do this, consider yourself homeless in the whole Southeast region. Simon Ekpa the Prime Minister of um, a Biafra government in Nezai. Nigerians, as soon as they see, see, the matter is becoming more tense. Like what I do tell people, don't wait until something happens before you take action. Yes, you don't need to wait until when something happens. Then you are now running up and down to take action. It doesn't make sense. This issue of Mazen Namdekano, you know, he is he's getting out of hand. And why all these things are happening like this? Because they see that the Southeast leaders, they are not really pushing. Is it because they feel they are comfortable in their little space? What about others? When you talk about um, marginalization, somebody like Hobo Zonima will tell you that Southeasterners are not marginalized. He has said that time without number. But you know you don't have to blame him because he doesn't feel the part that there are people who are marginalized. You get. He is the governor. He was once a senator and see how he came into power and all that. So why would somebody like that tell you the truth? So they don't believe. Even when these issues are causing problems in the Southeast region, to them, it's nothing. After all, their family members are not involved. You get. So that is the reason why, you know, they are related to her. But yesterday there was a report that the administration of uh, President Bola Tinubu is reportedly facing significant pressure to get Mazen Namdekanu released. When I know Mazen Namdekanu now, he is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo. Niger News said Kano, you know, has been in federal custody. Uh, in since June 2021, following his extraordinary rendition from Kenya, he Namdekan is currently in DSS custody. So the government sources suggest that his release may be forthcoming, although the specific conditions have not been made public. So the presidency did not prove any comment on the situation when I approached for a statement. Okay, that last night. So that means two days now, two nights now. Okay, because this report was yesterday. You see, they they want to give a condition. What is going to be the condition? You should know now. Maybe deny Biafra agitation, and they may not there while I go come out because now they cannot have said no Biafra, no peace. You get so no Biafra, no peace. Biafra nation is. Is unnegotiable, no going back. You don't enter the matter, be speak up, uh, be say you don't enter the matter. You get, and what that already passed, Gary, you get. Insiders from the presidency indicate that daily trust, indicates to daily trust that leaders from the Southeast geopolitical zone have the right to request presidential intervention regarding Kanu's case. And now the question is, how far have they gone? How far have they, have they gone? It's, this is not just the issue of coming out to tell people, yes, we want the government to apply political solution. Then after that, you go back to your house and you sit down. You don't visit the matter again. And you think miracle will just happen like that. And you understand the fact that majority, majority of people, mostly from the northern part of the country, do not even want Namdetan to be released. If you watch carefully the game the, the former president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, played, you should understand. Even after that, 
some northern group like C CJN were like no uh, CJ CNG yeah CNG like Namdekano cannot be released. They even went as far as you know threatening President Bola Tinubu, just like what they also did to President Muhammad Buhari. So you see, my people, the only matter here, the only thing now here, is for the Southeast leaders to avoid more problems, to avoid more problems, to pressurize the government to apply political solution. If they follow this court matter, Namdekano will never get justice. Even when he has gotten justice before now, you see how the matter they rule. So anybody who thinks that the court is going to give him fair trial, you just have to wake up. So guys, the matter now when they grant be say, Simon Epa don't put Woto Woto for Southeast leaders' body. He don't tell them, say, give them two weeks to get them they can released or else they should consider them consider themselves homeless. How is he going to do this? I don't know. So guys, at the drop on here, what's your take on this? Share your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you and God bless you. Bye for now.